What's up guys? This is Matt and today I'm going to be trying out FTL or Faster Than Light. And I bought this game quite a while ago. I think maybe one of the first weekends it was out. Steam had a sale. I got it a little off of full price, maybe a, a buck or two off. And I've been messing around with it uh, here and there and I really just started playing it for real this week. You know, I, I kind of, I only have one final exam left and I've been just going through games that I've let pile up, ones that I wanted to try, and this was one of them. Um, I wasn't exactly sure how to explain it, so I went to the FTLgame.com website or whatever, and they got the FAQ on there, and there's conveniently a question, what is FTL? So I, I figured I'd go to that, and I'd read that answer, and the first sentence says, it's a spaceship simulation roguelike-like. You're exploring and um, fighting throughout the galaxy and you control one little spaceship and all of the crew on board that can fluctuate during a journey. Now, I'm not sure about averages. I haven't watched too many YouTube videos of this game. I know that one game for me probably only lasts maybe like 20 minutes. I don't know how long they're supposed to last. I don't seem to survive too long. So I will be playing on easy. Let's jump right into it. We're gonna go to a new game. Um, what should we call this ship? Uh, the, I don't know, the SSI you got me. And we'll hit enter to confirm and we can bring a lot. We have three crew that we bring with us. So let's have, uh, let's have Matt. And who else? Who do I, you know what? I, I'm usually on Call of Duty. I'm usually rolling with Ace. And Mrs. J. Depp. So let's see, can we make a girl? I think that looks like a girl, right? Rename and we'll just, we'll, uh, we'll say Depp. Everyone will know who I'm talking about. All right, so we got, this is our starting ship right here. These are the rooms here. Um, so uh, when you're looking at the ship, this is kind of what's going on. This room right here, this symbol you'll see throughout the game. This is our pilot's, not the pilot, what would you call it? A cockpit, there we go. That's where the pilot controls the ship. This, uh, these double lines, this is the door controls. All these little orange lines here are doors throughout the ship that you can open. You can open them to the outside and kind of, uh, suck all the oxygen out of a room as, uh, kind of fire control. Uh, this is our, like, security systems. When this, if this room is down, we can't see inside of any of these rooms until it's fixed. This is our shield generation room. This is our med bay where we can send, uh, our, our crew to be healed we have our weapon control systems and then we have our engine room and the oxygen uh i guess filtration room is what it would be so let's make sure we set this to easy because i am not that great at this game but it's it's a ton of fun so let's get started i'll just pause it and i can uh explain anything else and of course i go to easy and all of a sudden i see danger on the screen but let's read it uh, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But, get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, fire. If fire is spreading, consider opening airlocks and doors to vent the oxygen from parts of your ship. Fire is quickly extinguished without O2, or oxygen. So we'll press continue. Let me just uh, kind of pause it real quick. You'll see we're in danger. I don't know if that's because we're in like an asteroid field or something. And we also can't see throughout the ship because if you come over here to our subsystems, you got the pirate, the pilot's bay or whatever. And in our sensors, you'll see temporary, temporarily disabled by enemy or location. So it's just this like cloudy nebula area that we're in is messing up our sensor systems. But so here, the, like I said, the three systems we have here, we have a pilot, or the cockpit, the piloting, we have our sensors, and we have the doors. And here, this is our power supply right here, these green lines, and all of the systems in our ship can receive power, or we could take power away, how do we do it? By by uh, right-clicking, and you left-click to give it power. So we can completely shut down our oxygen, what is this, what do they call it? Oxygen, that's it. I guess the oxygen uh, generation or filtration or whatever. So we can give everything power, and then certain rooms need to be manned or there is a benefit if there's actually a crew member present in the room 
such as our shield generation, our um, engine room, and what else? I think probably the, the weapon systems, if there's somebody in there. So obviously we just started. You read the little clip, or I read the clip to you about what's going on. So let's, we're going to go ahead and just uh, make our first jump. And this is what's going on in the game. Uh, this is us right here. You see our ship is kind of orbiting this little circle. So this is where we're at. And all these connected with lines, all these points are places that we can travel to. And of course, we're trying to make it to this exit because from that exit, we can then jump to another sector. Right now, we're in sector one, civilian sector. And so we'll be able to move throughout the game uh, by doing that. The longer we take to get to the exit, you're going to see on the left side of the screen, the rebel fleet actually starts to pursue us and starts to catch up. So we can't, we, we really won't have time to look at every single one of these points you kind of have to guess where the mo the, which uh path will be the most lucrative lucrative for you um and maybe the least dangerous depending on uh what kind of playthrough you're trying to do and you'll see uh i guess i guess that's really it i'm gonna go this way i think from here we should be able to connect down here and we'll come up we'll hit a lot of stars these don't look like they'll be too dangerous so, I say we jump here. It's an unvisited location. Alright. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. So we have two options. We can intervene to defend the post, or we can avoid the conflict. And this is the little ship that, we're, that we would be fighting against. It's a class auto scout. And we have a neutral relationship right now. They're not attacking us yet, because we haven't made our decision. And... I do know a little bit about the ship right now. It's not entirely strong. And while they do have a weapon system, they can retaliate. They don't have any shields of any kind. So really, any attack that I launch against them is going to hit. So I think I have a good chance of making it. So I'm going to intervene. I'm going to attack these guys. Oh, I should probably have powered my weapons, but it's okay. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Continue. Let's add power, so that'll take up the rest of our power, our, um, because you'll see, not only does our weapon room need power, each of our weapon systems needs power. So we're going to use a boost, uh, burst laser, and let's hit their weapon systems, they can't attack us back right now. And since our missiles are charged, let's just attack their pilot, their piloting bay, and that was enough to knock them out, that's all it took was two hits. The ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. We get one fuel, which is what we need to make uh, jump to jump. We got one missile, which is great because we used one missile, so that worked out perfect. And we got 10 scrap. Scrap is kind of the currency in this game. When you go to a store, that's what you're going to use to, uh, to barter, to trade for different items. And you also use scrap to upgrade your ship, so scrap is very valuable in this game. And uh, 10, eh, it's, it's kind of weak, but I mean, we didn't really have to do much to get it. So that was that was a great uh, first battle there. So let's hit continue. The outpost hails, hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed nonstop by those scouts. Take this on the house. And they give us another missile. One drone part, which is going to go right here. And we get 19 more scraps. So let's hit continue. So that was a very, very, very lucrative. <laughs> I keep using that word now. Uh, first encounter there I, and I very much like how that turned out uh, so that was the fighting portion of the game I just realized the first thing I normally do which I didn't do this time is I start I put people in rooms so we'll, we'll leave Matt as the pilot let's take Ace and let's um, Ace is gonna be Ace is gonna be our weapons guy so I'll send Ace to the whatever this is called what is this called they just call it weapons. And Mrs. J. Depp is going to be in the shielding, in the shield room. It is manned by a crew. What does it say? Oh, manning increases shield recharge speed. All right. And manning this reduces charge time for the weapons. So by having someone in here, these are going to recharge faster, which is great when you're in an encounter, uh, when people are fighting there with you. So let's go ahead and jump. We have three possible points in the direction we want to go. Of course, we can backtrack, but I don't want to do that, really. Um, 
Here we have an unvisited location. The nebula here will make fleet pursuit slower, but will disrupt your sensors. So that's where we had trouble last time, where you can't see inside the different rooms in your ship. But I think I think we'll be okay. So let's head there. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. So what do we want to do? Do we want to attack the pirates, or do we want to ignore the ship? And maybe this is why none of my games have lasted too long, but I say we attack the pirates. So you power up your weapons and move in to engage. Oh, and they have a, a drone that's going to kind of fly around and attack us. So let's shoot our missiles right at their shields. Try to knock those out as quick as possible. And I'm going to try to take out their drones. And I didn't do it. This is their drone control bay. So let's do the same thing. One missile at the shields and our burst laser at the drone. Perfect. Their shields... Oh, looks like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. Um, let's try to take out their weapon system. I'm going to waste another missile. No, I don't want to waste a missile. Let's just, yeah, take out their weapons. Perfect. Ah, probably one more hit and they should be done. It looks like they are they got people in there. They're repairing their shields, though. Yeah, you see the doors are open and people are running in. They just repaired it. But we got that one hit that we needed, and there they go. Perfect. You, ser you search the ship and discover that its cargo was new military-grade weaponry. It was somehow undamaged in the fight and can easily be mounted on the ship. So we got 25 scrap, and we got a halberd beam. And that takes three power, so we're going to have to upgrade our power systems or disable both of these weapons in order to use the halberd beam. So what does it do? It's a beam weapon, two damage per room with small breach chance. I'm not sure what small breach chance means. We're gonna have to figure that out, but what does this do? This does one damage for each laser that it shoots, because you see it, it does the burst, the do-do-do. Um, so, eh, sometimes we, we do get three, and the missile does two damage, and it pierces all shields. So, really, uh, I don't know if this is better. I mean, obviously, we're going to keep it, but I'm not going to bother powering it up right now. Um, where do we want to go? Do we got really two choices here. Well, I don't see the rebels pursuing us yet, so I think we'll go maybe to the further one and we'll be able to maybe catch these outer beacons here. At least that's the plan. Man, this is, this is a cool game. All right, you arrive to find a number of ships convening around a station. You tune into their encrypted, or sorry, unencrypted communication channel and overhear half of their conversation. It seems they need to take pose possession of an enemy ship intact. So we could offer their services or we can leave them alone. And you know what? We're on a roll. Let's offer our services. They briefly scan your ship and inform you that you are not, ah, uh, you are not properly equipped for this type of mission. Well, that's stupid. Oh, look, a store. All right, well, we, I don't know why. Oh, I bet from the store maybe we could jump to this one, but these are just regular unvisited locations, so let's jump to the store. We got quite a bit of scrap saved up. Maybe we could buy something here. A transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below, which offers supplies to travelers. You send down an away party to check it out. Oh, here we go. So we could buy a, a drone control now. The only bad thing is, if we buy the drone control, that would take all of our scrap, and then we can't actually buy any drones. So I don't know. I guess we're, we're kind of at a loss here. I can't do anything. You see here, we can also, at any, at any store, they always have uh, special systems, or, you know, you can buy, uh, sometimes you could buy, I guess, buy crew members. You're not really, they're not really slaves. You know, you're buying uh, their contracts or whatever. And you could buy weapons a lot of times in stores. And in this case, like I said, you could buy drones. We could also buy cloaking. We could uh, get off the enemy radar for a little while. And then every store, you could always buy fuel. You could always buy missiles. You could always buy drone parts. And of course, you could repair your hull. Which, I mean, let's just do that. It'll only, it'll leave us with 80 scrap. And 
you know what? That's that's it. We're not going to waste any scrap. I'll, maybe I'll use this scrap to upgrade our systems here. Maybe we could run all three weapons at one time. Maybe we could add more power. Uh, maybe to the shields. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave this store. See, actually, if you click uh, ship right here, this is where you can upgrade. You can kind of, you can read over here. It, it's going to it's gonna be here. Look right here. All right, see, I go to the, the shield, and you'll see uh, there's two green bars filled up. The next one will cost us 20, and then above that, that'll cost 30. But you see, at that point, we have two shield, two shield bars. So that's kind of what's going on here. You can upgrade all the systems individually. You can kind of read it. What does this do? Dodges. And it looks like the your jump thing, uh, the, the faster than light, will it'll increase the recharge time. Or decrease the recharge time. That makes more sense. Refills the oxygen speed. And then this gives us more power for our, for our weapon systems. And of course... The, how fast our guys heal with the med bay. And what does this allow us to do? Oh, we can have a better chance of evasion. If we power this up really nice, we can actually see the enemies inside the enemy ships. And we could have nice, powerful doors, and we could just give ourselves more power overall in our reserve over here. Then that way we can uh, shut down different systems and power up more uh, other systems however we see fit. We can also sell stuff. How much would this halberd beam get me? Oh, I wonder. Let's go. Let's go to the store real quick. If I sell, I can get thirty-five for it. I. You know what? No, because I still couldn't buy anything. I still couldn't buy anything. I don't know what I want to do, guys. Um. Let's let's improve our shield a little bit here. Although, why is it not powered? Requires system upgrade. Let's give ourselves some more power bars. Now can I? Nope. Requires system upgrade. I don't know what the hell that means. But okay. Oh, is it not man? Oh, it is. It is. Okay. All right. Let's just jump. I've been messing around with this long enough. Um, let's go down here. I'm afraid if we go here, though, we're, we, it might be too far to jump to this beacon. We might have to backtrack. But let's do it anyway. Oh, you discover one of the Rebels' autonomous scouts. The ship's AI wastes no time engaging your ship. Okay, let's shoot our missiles directly at their shield, and let's shoot our lasers at their weapon systems. Oh, they, they hit, but it was a non-essential room, so we're, we're okay. It looks like our missile missed, so let's use another one. We're going to be down to five, but we should be okay. And there we go. We took them out. That was, that was nice and easy. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. We, have, we got two fuel, we got one drone part, and we got 16 scrap. Beautiful. And let's jump. Uh, you see, actually, here is the Rebels. They're coming, and you see warning. You don't want to be on the other side of this red line here. Or probably even in the space, because then they're just going to be on top of you all the time. So we could backtrack to the store, or we can move forward. Um, and there's a distress signal. Someone might need help, so let's go check it out. You follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help, our shields are down, and I don't know how much longer we can last. Try to shield their ship with yours and escort them out of the field, or don't risk our ship. Leave them to their fate. And that is, uh, that, that's our two options right there. And you know what? I'm going to leave it there. You guys are going to have to sit and wonder what happened until the next video. So... <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of Faster Than Light. I've been having a lot of fun playing this game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip the screen here. You're going to see some things to click on. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this uh, game. If you've ever tried it, let me know your experience, what I'm doing wrong. Uh, you know, maybe give me some pointers in, down in the comment section. That would be greatly appreciated. And anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time.